In a previous video, we dived into the Tor wallet. And with this, we gave you an overview of what this project is, including a little bit of the details on the wallet and on the Tor coin and how it was getting ready to launch. And lo and behold, the wallet for the website version is officially up. I'm gonna be giving you guys a walkthrough guide in this video. And so with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into it. If you guys have not followed up on this already, in short, Tor Wallet is really focusing on trying to be a leader in privacy, security, utility, adaptability. I highly recommend you guys go check out my first video. I have a link in the description for you. So if you want to go and learn more details on that, you can. But the main focus of this video is going to be on this wallet here. So of this, there is going to be an app for Google, which means Android, the App Store, which means the iOS devices, and then web. And the web version is officially on up. So you create an account. Once you log in, it's going to look like this. The first thing you're going to see here is your dashboard. We do have a ticker at the top which is showcasing some of the price moves for not only some crypto, but you can also see what's going on with that of stocks and even currency conversions, the Forex. Located at the very top, you can see your available balance for both the Tor coin as well as for your USD value. And it also talks about the block coin section here, and that shows you Tor coin membership status identifies if you have that going on for this case of this wallet it shows no membership yet your profile icon up here in the top right also you do have notifications if there are any that's going to display over on the right hand side and then underneath here we can see the available coin balance the total block coin balance the total buy coin as well as your deposit when the current year for that took place, the withdrawal current year. And you can scroll down a little bit here. You may not see this at first, but yes, you can indeed scroll down. You'll see some additional things on these pages, such as the buy coin report, the current year for that, all the deposits lists, and you'll have the option for the withdrawal. It's not letting me swap over to this, but this is the first version launch of the wallet. You're going to see another section here later on that showcases that it's still in development as well. So then we go on to the next section for the buy coin. Let's go ahead and click on that first one there. Show you guys a little bit of a preview with this. So one tour coin, it shows you the conversion rate. You're looking at $2.50 here. And it shows no phase active yet. Really want to stress that to you guys yet. Now you can buy our regular coin. So you identify the uh, coin amount that you want to put in right inside this box here. You're going to choose the payment type, whether you want to do a coin payment. You could also have the options of doing it through a bank deposit or the credit card. And then you would submit for the buy now option right there on the bottom. Moving on to the next tab, we have the buy coin history. So obviously, if you have purchased in the past, your history will show up on this page, identifying the address, the coin amount, the coin name itself, the payment type that you use, the status of it, as well as created at. For the buy coin referral history, same thing. This will identify the information there. Then we have also sending and receiving. So it's interesting with this is that when you create your wallet account, you're going to be using an email for this, right? So here we could see some details relevant to that. It says, note, here you can send or receive default coin only. To send other coins, go to the pocket menu. It shows default coin request. You can send the coin there sending the default coin request to your users using the email address. So input the user email where you want to send requests for coins. So instead of having to worry about the long wallet address ID, you get their user email address. Boom. Very quick and easy, right? Put that on in there. You're good to go. Coin amount, minimum amount shows right here is uh, many zeros <laughs> and then one zero tor coin so it's very 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 low and the maximum amount you can see for the tor coins this is very 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 high and then you just click on send requests and you're good for that part send history for the default coin similar to what we saw over in the buy coin history identifying here sender receiver the coin amount the coin name status and created at and then we have another section Receiving history, so first one was send history, this one being the receive history, and then also pending requests, in case anything is still in the works. The next section up is for the wallet. So clicking on the Tor wallet, we can see a variety of different ones here. 
And so for example, the Bitcoin wallet, its coin type being that of Bitcoin shows you any pending, uh, well, any balance that you may have when it was updated at what time. And there's a couple different actions that you have here. So for example, you could make a deposit. You could also do a withdrawal. You can also do the activity log or be able to do a swap up in the top right hand corner there with the green button. We have the ability to add wallets on top of everything else. So for example, inside here, we have the Bitcoin wallet, Ethereum wallet, a default wallet, BUSD and BNB. And you'll notice that, for example, the default wallet, there's this little key icon that's in case you want to be able to make these walls also identified as a primary. So for the Bitcoin wallet, let's go ahead and click on the deposit. This does redirect you to another page here. You can see that there is a QR code. And on top of that, you have this little ability. You can make a copy and paste option here. You can generate a new address. You can also show the past addresses. And so here's some examples when it was created and what the address was. And then you also have the options for withdrawing and activity log for the withdrawing here. You put in the to address. So it says, please don't put your Bitcoin coin address carefully because of wrong address. If coin is lost, we will not be responsible for that. This is very typical of crypto. So if you guys are not familiar with doing trades in crypto, you can't make these kinds of mistakes. Otherwise, it goes off into fantasy land to some other unknown wallet. Maybe someone will just feel super lucky they realize that they received something. But you got to be careful with that stuff too. There's a lot of phishing scams out there. If you guys receive something randomly and you don't recognize it, 99% uh, of the time, you do not want to touch that stuff. So then the amount right here, minimum withdrawal amount, shows very small for Bitcoin. Maximum withdrawal amount is very, very high for Bitcoin. And then you can even add in some notes. So very cool with that. And then you also have your activity log just detailing a little bit more in regards to that. And then you have the swap history, very similar to what we saw with the buy coin history and the send and receive history for default coin. And then we have the swap coin. So from here, select from the coin wallet. So let's just say we want to select the Bitcoin wallet. You would click that one off of the drop down list. And then you have all of these other options here. And that coin swap, we don't have anything else on the page as of yet, but would very realistically expect there to be more added to this page later on. The membership club, we have transfer coin. And showcasing a little bit more on this page, you can become a member. You can transfer your coin to your club wallet for some days. Then you will get exclusive bonuses. If you are not the member to become a member for the first time, please transfer the minimum 500 Tor coin for 30 days. And they show you a couple different plans here. So you have, for example, the silver plan, which is 500 Tor coin. There's also the gold and the platinum for higher values. And it showcases the minimum duration days as well as the bonus percentages for each. And so transfer coin to the club wallet, transfer coin to the main wallet, and transfer coin from your main wallet to the club wallet, you're going to have to choose which wallet you want to do for that and the coin amount on top of everything else. And then moving on to the My Membership. Currently, you are not the member of this membership club, but it did just give us some of that membership detail information in the previous tab. My Membership Bonus History, also detailing. So you guys have a lot of analyt a lot of analytical tools in order to see previous history of things you've done. Then you can also go into the profile section. You can be able to identify, for example, uh, it'll showcase for you what your name is. You can identify your country, your email, the verification for your email, what phone number you may have had uh, you want to put in. You can also choose the role, the active status, whether you are or not. In this case, it's showing it is. And then you can also go through and be able to edit your profile, verify your phone, reset your password, and also check your activity. This chat section, if you click on that, it's going to say that it is under development. So as was mentioned towards the beginning of this video, it's still the early stage. And as we can see, there's a lot that's being provided here, but there are some things in the work. Same thing, if you check and click on the sniper, or at least as of the time of me recording this video, it says that, that is also under development. And then you have a referral section. So with the referral section, you click on that there, you're gonna see that you have an invite code. You can be able to share that either through copying it and pasting it somewhere else, or you can go through the Facebook and Twitter embedded links there. 
and also it shows you details in regards to the history of your referrals that you've done as well as references. We just have a little bit more guys and then on top of this we also have the earnings history that will be displayed on this tab and then you also have your settings that you can break down and check out more details on that with Google authentication you can click and turn or sorry you can toggle this section on for security please on this option to enable two-factor authentication at login the English isn't perfect here but again it's a first launch release guys and then preference settings you can choose your language be able to update that there and then last but not least is the frequently asked questions section which right now it says no data found but they do have social media so you guys can go check them out and be able to talk with them get engaged they have a telegram group as well as their twitter i'll include both links down in the description below and that's what i got for you guys so that is the review of the tor wallet through the website version this is including the dashboard buy coin send receive wallet swap coin still having that being worked on membership club the profile the chat and sniper are both being worked on the my referral and then the settings i hope this video was helpful for you if it was please don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up like button let us know what you guys think and if there's any details of what you really liked if there's any details of what you think that they could do to improve any kind of feedback like that uh, hopefully their team will be checking out this video and seeing that down below as well but Honestly, if you really want to make a significant impact, go join their Telegram and tell them over there. So thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a great day or a great night. God bless. Bye.